Hi everyone, in this video we're going to cover the shark appendicular skeleton. So to start out with, we're looking at the pectoral girdle. So we see this very prominent large bar coming across here. This is the coracoid bar. If we move laterally and dorsally, um, there is a little bit of actually separate cartilage. It's called the scapular cartilage. It's a little bit hard to see the distinction in this specimen, so we're going to move over here to this smaller one, where it's actually um, broken off almost completely. <laughs> um, but it helps us see the distinctions. So there's your uh, scapular cartilage right there, and the coracoid bar is right up here. Okay, back to the larger shark. Leading up to the um, scapular cartilage from the coracoid bar, is the scapular process. So that is what actually um, articulates with the scapular cartilage up here from the coracoid bar is the scapular process. Make sure to make the distinction between those two because they are different structures. So in the pectoral fin, um, there are three large cartilages that we want to point out. Uh, so this is the pro pterygium, pro before or first, uh, meso pterygium, meso, middle, and the meta pterygium, meta meaning last. Um, so pterygium means uh, effectively wing, so that is why uh, they're the first, middle, and last part of the quote-unquote wing or the pectoral fin. There are um, several uh, of these next smaller cartilages. These are the radials, and then these red um, long rays are the serratotrichia, or keratotrichia. Um, we, we actually don't have a consensus, consensus on how to pronounce that um, at this point, but as long as you spell it right, it makes no difference to us. Okay, so we're going to move back over to the smaller shark for the pelvic girdle, because the pelvic girdle on the large one is actually um, separated and is very difficult to see. So we're moving over to the pelvic uh, girdle on the smaller shark because the pelvic girdle on the large shark is very hard to see. Uh, it is disarticulated, it's fallen to the bottom of its container because they aren't very well attached um, to the axial skeleton, um, if at all. So we can see here our pelvic girdle on the small shark um, and our pelvic fins, and similar to the pectoral girdle, there is this um, bar going across. So we call this the puboischiac bar and it has an iliac process, kind of like how we had a scapular process, but you'll notice there is no iliac cartilage coming off of that. It is just completely fused to the puboischiac bar, so this is just the iliac process. There are two large cartilages in the, pe in the pelvic fin. There is this one right here, so that is the proterygium, probably sounds very familiar um, to what you see in the pectoral fin. And then the meta pterygium. Notice there is no meso pterygium in the pelvic fin. But, similar to the pectoral fin, we have radials right through here, a bunch of radials. And then the fin rays of the serratotrichia down here. And that does it for, oh, actually, one more thing. Um, you can kind of see them on this one. So this is a uh, very young shark, but this is a male shark. These are claspers right here. So they're enlarged cartilage. Um, they're it intermittent organs um, that sharks use during copulations. Only the males have the claspers. Um, females do not. This one does not have claspers. Here's the pelvic girdle down here again. You see, it's very hard to see, but there are no claspers, and they would be substantially larger in this individual that's very a very large individual. Okay, so that does it for the um, appendicular skeleton of the shark. Uh, take care, everyone.